Hello everybody. Today's video is starting out in an empty room because we just got carpet and I'm so excited. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell on camera because when I took a picture of it, it looked very brown, but it's actually what's called grayish, <laughs> which is gray with like beige specks or brown specks in it. So it can be like warm or cool. I love that. Eventually it kind of clashes right now, but we have this like orange wood that I don't like. It's, it's not real hardwood. It's just, it's just laminate in here right now, but eventually we would like to get a similar like brown and gray, oh, like laminate floors over here. But, um, with the cost of the carpet, we figured we'd do one at a time. <laughs> small bites, you know? Um, we're really excited. It's just like this huge empty room right now. The kids had a lot of fun. Last night we moved everything out of the living room and they had fun just like running around and enjoying it. They got our old carpet pulled up, our pad pulled up, and the carpet laid down, the new, the new pad laid down, the new carpet all done within three hours. It was insane. And <laughs> if you've seen it in any of my vlogs, you probably couldn't tell how bad the carpet was, but this is a rental unit that we're in. We do own this duplex. The carpet that was in our living room here was 17 years old. It was original carpet. It was so bad. The amount of dirt and nastiness underneath the carpet was bleh. So bad. Um, the upstairs has been recarpeted, and it, it, it's, it's two different color carpets. But that is like super cheap carpet that we will eventually replace as well. It's like very shaggy carpet, and it's already starting to get beat down in the middle here. So that's gonna have to be replaced. We're just trying to take like a little bites off at a time and kind of like redo this place. We are going to paint, and I know we should have painted before we got carpet, but. We just had to get the carpet done, but we do need to paint like everything in here. The ceiling is a different color. You can kind of tell in the corner here, but the ceiling is a different color than like this wall, but they're all white. We can do pink too. We can do pink walls? Yeah. Oh, that would be pretty, huh? And pink over there, um, blue there. Pink and blue? Yeah. And purple. <laughs> what does pink and blue make? And purple. That's right, good job. Today we've just been kind of hanging around here. Um, they were getting the carpet in. We ran to North Pole, got the mail, got, dropped off some library books. Um, it's just, I, I should have picked up the camera a little bit sooner. Now we have to get the living room all put back together. We're gonna pick up the kids first because they really enjoy just like running around and playing. So we're gonna let them do that before we fill the living room back up with the furniture. Our entire living room is in our dining room right now. <laughs> wow, really on camera I can tell how bad this clash is. We're thinking in like a few months to get that replaced. So we were not color matching to that flooring. <laughs> It is really hard to tell on camera. Um, this flooring doesn't look that bad on camera, but all the seams are like bubbled up here and there's like seams over here that are bubbled up. And again, that is original flooring, 17 years old, which should last longer than carpet, but it's, it, it's just in need of a refresh. Flooring and paint are gonna do this place wonders. You and me, yeah, that's all I need and I'll be all right. have picked up the camera again last night after we got to <laughs> moving the living room back into the living room. It is clearly lived in again. Got the husband, Addie. We actually have some errands we need to run. We're kind of, we're trying to like minimize our lives right now and get rid of things that we just don't need. And so we listed a bunch of stuff on Facebook this morning, just things that, you know, aren't 
they're not bringing joy to us. They're not useful to us. I need to return something to Walmart and then we also need to do a Costco run. And I feel like I've done these a lot lately. <laughs> It seems like once a month I am doing them. I do want to kind of explain. I know Costco hauls are not everybody's cup of tea and that's okay. I try to do a good job at making it be a normal vlog and not just a Costco haul when I go. I know a lot of vloggers just do the Costco haul by itself, like go in, shop, and then show the haul. I hope I make it halfway entertaining when we kind of like show our normal day, show a small part of us going to Costco, and then possibly some more day after that. I don't know, let me know your thoughts on this because I would love to hear from you guys. But Costco videos are what I call like an outreach video. Um, when I post those videos, they get pushed to like so many different people and it's really cool to see because they are my channel growers. I see so many comments from you guys about how you enjoy seeing them and I definitely enjoy bringing Lance with me because it's so much more fun. I don't have a lot of anxiety in Costco when I bring him. He's also hilarious and cute. I see your comments. I see them. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go head to Fairbanks go run some errands and bring you guys along. Just got done at Walmart. I did not vlog that. All I had to do was do a return. Um, I had accidentally bought like some protein bars online and it was like $50. It was something I put in my cart to remind me, but it was like for shipping. But when I placed my normal pickup order, it placed the order for that and it was like $50 for a pack of them, and I was like, absolutely not. Anyways, it was actually very convenient. I was able to apply for a return in the app, and then I just took it to the Walmart customer service, so it was a really easy return. Anyways, we're gonna run into Costco. We're trying to keep it really small because food has gotten really expensive. I'm actually getting together with a friend tonight, and I'm so excited. Uh, have not gone out with a friend in a very long time, so uh, it's Mother's Day weekend, and it's just gonna be me and her. It's gonna be fantastic. that we were gonna keep it kind of like low. <laughs> Second item, we're off the list. They have these like massive slip and slides and you guys know our Alaskan summers are, they're gold, okay? We take full advantage of 24 hour sun. We, we can be slipping sliding at like nine o'clock at night um, and there's still sun on the slip and slide. So, we're just gonna get that. I know it's a hundred dollars, but we're hoping it holds up a little bit better than the other ones we've bought. In. Bought? Bought? In. the honey garlic chicken but this looks really good this is $15 for two pounds of chicken which sounds expensive but it's already done it's fully cooked we're just gonna add some rice and veggies and 
make a meal out of it. You guys, two things I want to tell you. If you are moving out on your own or you need glasses, just buy one spaghetti sauce because I save all mine and we drink out of those. Two, these little desserts at Costco, they come, this is creme brulee, this is $10. So you get all these creme brulees and you get to keep the glasses and they're cute little like tiny ramekin ones. He's changed his mind. He wants a sirloin. That is old man stuff. Roll that little green bitch. <laughs> Fart fuel. <laughs> I'm not even like full keto right now but these like glazed pecans are so good. These are just good for like a snack and nuts are good for you. Didn't you get those last time? I don't know, but you gotta have fruity diet. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't, I don't think that's what they mean. Okay. I did, thank you. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Again, on that note, Descendant, you have a happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you so much. Get her a big smiley face. Oh, what do you say? Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You too. I'm not even joking. Hold on, hold on I'm, I just mad. I'm just mad now. <laughs> I used to joke, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> He's cranky over what the cost was. We did have a hundred dollar slip inside. I have to talk quick because I don't have air conditioning right now because there's something going on with my air conditioning. He's gonna put a can of air in it and see if it holds. If not, we have an appointment at a shop here to get the air conditioning done. It's like it's not a job he can do. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. Um, See, back we, to you from the whole show. Okay, it's a lot. We gotta run and go grab the kids. They're out of school in like nine minutes and we're like 15 away, so. <laughs> Yay! It's a can of Freon, Jess, not a can of air. Oh, I said a can of air? Yeah. Well, it's cold air to me. Put <laughs> <laughs> a can of cold air in there. <laughs> okay, Margaret. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, what we do to each other as like a prank is 
when it's really hot outside and we're just like, oh, so hot, which we get, I mean, it's only 56 degrees outside, but it's, it's hot, okay? The van is dark and the sun is beating down on it. It's very warm in here. Anyways, we like to hit, the heated seats are right here. That's what I just hit in that shot. And uh, we like to turn them on without the other person knowing. It's a good time. I started it. <laughs> We had to go pick up the kids, picked them up, came home, put all the Costco stuff away, and then we started playing some Wii. We have had the same Wii for probably, I don't even know, probably 15 years, and it's still working. We used to play with our friends before we even had kids. It is just crazy to me that that thing is still working. The kids love it so much. They love the boxing one and they are dripping in sweat when they get done. <laughs> it is amazing. So my friend Kayla and I are gonna go meet over at Reese's Greenhouse. Reese, 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 mm, I'm not sure how to say it. It's R-A-S-S-E. It is a local greenhouse here and they are doing, I think what they're calling a first Friday. It's kind of their grand opening for the year. There's some music, there's some local art and we can look around and maybe get some plants. As you saw in that clip home, uh, there was like a crazy storm coming in and now it's just raining and it's pretty gross out. Uh, it is 42 degrees out, I think, now. So I have lots and lots of layers. There's two sweatshirts and a coat here, just in case Kaylee needs one too. I think we're gonna go to dinner afterwards too. It's been a long time since I've had a mom date. So I'm gonna head to Reese's Greenhouse. I think it's starting to clear up. It's just barely sprinkling now, but there's a lot of people out here. It's so good to see. I love supporting the local greenhouses. We went out to Hawks the other day and they are, they have an amazing greenhouse as well. Um, it is definitely hopping out here, so it's so good to see. a whole lot I just got that b-roll from when I was with my friend Kayla um, but I just want to say everybody needs a Kayla in their life we have been friends for oh my goodness I think 16 ish years um, right after Lance and I started dating I met her and we have been friends through different walks in life, to, through different paths. We have just always been able to come together and it's like we never spent any time apart and I just love that. We had a fantastic time at Reese's Greenhouse. Reese, Reese Greenhouse, I don't know how you say it. It was a lot of fun. They have a little playground area for the kids. I actually didn't get anything at the greenhouse because I don't have a garden and I have a small little area for flowers but I think I'm actually gonna do potatoes there this year. <laughs> and then we went to Gallo's and had some chicken fajita salads. You guys know I love those there. Um, and just hung out. We were there for a couple hours and just caught up and we cried. That's why my cheeks are all pink. <laughs> She's just one of those like good friends that um, 
you you have to get together with. You laugh, you cry, you you just have those good conversations. So Kayla, I love you. I am so grateful for you. I'm at the house now. Lance did do a little bit of work on the heater for the camper. Our little project camper. The heater was having a hard time last year. Um, our toilet was having a hard time. The water was having a hard time. And I think we're finally gonna get it all dialed in and hopefully have our first adventure soon, even though there's still a lot of snow. Oh my gosh. Thank you for coming along today on my adventures. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye! All that we have is each other.